the next day people are gonna be like who is this like why do you look so fresh why do you look so awake i'm like girl i just had good sleep what's up guys it's nick welcome back to my channel where i empower you to take on adulting like a boss in today's video i'm gonna share these simple yet life-changing habits that you can start incorporating in your life every single day for the ultimate glow up I love skincare, I love makeup, but at the end of the day, it's also about taking care of your mental health. So if you're excited to take that step to glow up physically and mentally, make sure you like this video and let's get into it. For me, when I started incorporating these daily habits consistently, I found that my perspective shifted to a more positive light. I was able to manage my stress better and ultimately I was able to take care of myself better. And honestly, that's something that we need now more than ever. Habit number one really helped me when I'm feeling stressed and overwhelmed and I know I'm not alone. So what really helped me is setting three priorities to accomplish for the day. You know, long checklists can be so overwhelming. It's like you don't know where to start. You feel like every single thing is urgent, every single thing you need to finish in a day. And honestly, you can't. And if you do attempt to finish them, you are left feeling so frustrated because you feel like it's not of quality. Or second, you are just so tired and burnt out if you do that every single day of your life. So what I do is literally write three things that I need to get done by the end of the day. And I also have like some bullet points here and there, like a checklist of one way or another at some point they're gonna be urgent so i want to be reminded of them in a separate list but what's most important for me is that okay these three things i'm gonna focus on doing i'm not gonna procrastinate because sometimes we have that checklist we're in the most important thing is at like the bottom 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 of the list that you are trying to ignore because you know you hate to do it and you also know what they say is that it's better to eat the frog first thing in the morning the frog represents the hardest task that you are dreading to do and you just want to get over it because the moment that you finish eating that frog the rest of the things that you need to get done feel so much easier and you don't feel like there is a heavy weight on your shoulders in a day there's only so much you can really focus your energy and time into if you want it to be of quality having those three things in my priority list just puts me at ease knowing that okay i know that when i finish these three things that i am set for the day habit number two is a reminder to do what you love and what has really helped me a lot in having that work-life balance is spending at least an hour a day doing what i love and that may be like a hobby or a passion project of yours like you know when you were a kid and like after school you would be so excited to like draw something or like write something down or go on your bike and i think when you we were kids we were just like we did what we wanted to do or we did what we loved to do and now that we're older and adults we kind of forgot about those small things that we love to do even though we don't get money out of it i realized that spending that one hour a day seems so bite-sized or really short but it's just enough for you to have that spark in you like oh, i'm so happy that i took this time for myself and not because it was expected of me not because it's a responsibility but it's actually because i wanted to do it i love to do it so why not and i feel like that's the kind of mindset that you want to have if you want to glow up from the inside and out habit number three that really organized my life for the better which is waking up at 6 a.m and not looking at my phone first thing in the morning whether or not you are a morning person i think it really helps in conditioning your body when to sleep and when to wake up and i felt like i had more quality sleep because of that you're also able to stick to a schedule so for me i wake up 6 a.m because i have a schedule ahead of me in my mornings and i like to take my time in the mornings before i start working at 9 a.m on the dot i think it's also life-changing when you don't immediately check your phone first thing in the morning because i noticed that 
when you do that, like when you go to YouTube, when you check your messages, it's like you're in bed for like an hour and your morning just flew by. And again, one hour could make a world of a difference. That hour could be spent doing like a passion project, a hobby or something that actually brings more value in your life rather than you scrolling and scrolling endlessly on your feed. I find that when I condition my brain, I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m. I'm not gonna open my phone. I become more productive in the morning. And because of that, I also win the rest of the day. Habit number four is kind of related to what I mentioned earlier, which is that you want to get moving at least 20 minutes a day. Before I click out of this video and say that I don't want to be told to exercise every single day because that's something that I've been wanting to do but never got myself into, no. I'm talking about getting your body moving, like even when you just want to do stretches, yoga, walk outside. There's really a study that if you just get your body moving, it also like stimulates your mind to be more creative, to be more productive. But if you really don't get moving a lot, it also affects your brain. Like if you feel stuck in your own body, you also feel stuck in your life or like you don't feel like doing other things. So I found that it's not only good for me physically, I just also feel good on the inside that I know that I'm doing this for myself. I'm not doing this for vanity. No one has time to think about that anymore that we are mostly at home. But again, it's the perfect time for you to also spend that 20 minutes a day for yourself. Not to look good for someone else, but to be a stronger, better version of yourself. Habit number five is having no screens 30 minutes before bedtime. Let me tell you that this is the life-changing habit that really helped me have consistent seven to eight hours of sleep every single day. What I realized is that it's just subtracting things that we are so used to within our comfort zone that's actually not good for us. And yeah, I've been one of those people where you watch on your phone until you fall asleep. Honestly, I don't fall asleep. I actually have a harder time sleeping because I think there's something about that blue light that really disrupts your brain in wanting to sleep. So for example, I want to make sure that I am fully asleep by 10 p.m. So by 9.30, I do my best to like put my phone aside, like away from me. I actually have a wind down feature on my Samsung phone and I feel like most smartphones will have that also and the thing is by 9 30 it becomes black and white so that i'm reminded like okay nick like you need to sleep by 9 30 i need to calm down my brain and just relax and enjoy sleep because the moment i wake up i'm gonna miss it <laughs> and you know what happens when you have quality sleep the next day people are gonna be like who is this like why do you look so fresh why do you look so awake i'm like girl i just had good sleep habit number six is the most important way for you to take care of your face and something that you will not expect yes it's important to have a good skincare routine yes makeup is fun makeup conceals my genetic dark circles but at the end of the day what will help you in the long term is wearing enough sunscreen you know those pesky pimples where they're already annoying that they're huge and then when they die and when they're finally popped and gone they leave a dark mark and what happens is when you don't wear sunscreen that actually becomes worse because there's something about the rays of the sun that really affects the pigmentation of that spot on your skin and it actually becomes darker so who wants that right and number two you know what's the number one cause of aging it is the sun on your face so if you don't wear sunscreen your dark spots become worse and aging becomes faster on your face so what helps for me in making sure that i wear enough sunscreen is that they say you use the two finger method so it's basically like drawing a line on your two fingers um, with a sunscreen and making sure that you put all of that on your face and your neck because we don't want like a cute face and a wrinkly neck so remember no matter how good your skincare routine is if you don't wear sunscreen none of that matters this is a habit that you need to be doing right now whatever age you're in because it'll help you in the long term if you want to have the ultimate physical glow up habit number seven is how to change your negative self-talk and it's really the habit of chanting mental words of affirmation to yourself so i know it might sound crazy that you're like 
talking to yourself and be like you are amazing you are smart you are capable like you might think you look stupid or something like that i'm like an overthinking being and sometimes that overthinking gets filled up with negativity and i really don't want to be a negative person because you know what happens when you're a negative person you look defeated you look like you've been sucked out of life and that is the opposite of glow ups even like me working out and I'm having a hard time doing this freaking push-up. I'm thinking to myself like I'm strong, I can do this, you can get through it. Or like when you're also having a hard time at work, know that there's always a way to change that into something positive. You also open up your brain to think about solutions. Be resourceful in how to get out of a situation rather than being crippled by negativity. The fact that you woke up this morning in one piece is a blessing it's so easy to get caught up in the negative side of things but it's also worth it to train your brain that there's also like a brighter side of things in life and for me that's the ultimate glow up that we need every single day glowing up is a choice of course there's a lot of physical things you can do for a glow up but at the end of the day it's also a mental glow up that is more important if you want to live life to the fullest so leave a comment down below which habit you are going to implement in your life starting tomorrow i want you to comment down below if you'd like to know more about life-changing habits and lessons that i implemented in my 20s then make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out these videos so that you could put yourself in the right mood this year thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys